Hey girls, so I just wanted to do a really quick pregnancy vlog. I know this has been a long time coming. I know a lot of you have probably been waiting and have been saying that I wanted to get this up. Um, I had actually filmed a secret pregnancy vlogs since week four, um, but because I had to convert them to another computer, um, somehow all the audio got messed up and you can, can't hear anything. And I've tried it on the other computer and nothing's worked. Um, it's like somehow the audio got completely stripped and there was no way to fix it. So that was a huge bummer. Um, but I'm going to talk about um, obviously the, the first early weeks of my pregnancy and then up to now and I'm actually 10 weeks and one day today. About a month after my miscarriage, I started to feel different. Like I started to have um, like pregnancy symptoms and I just kept thinking that it was because of the miscarriage that my hormones were all messed up. My doctor had told me to expect a period a month after my miscarriage. Well, that didn't happen and I had actually ordered um, a huge bundle of ovulation and pregnancy tests because we had planned to um, start trying again this summer after I had my hysteroscopy done and all the other tests that needed to be done. Um, so I wanted to order those and make sure I was stocked up on those so when we do conceive or when we do you know when we did um, want to try to conceive that we already had those on hand and I didn't have to wait. I think it might have been like the clinical guard or the one step I can't remember which one it was. Um, it was just the internet cheapies I actually had two brands and um, I think I used the pink one I think I said that in my uh, my live pregnancy test um, but I used the pink one and a line showed up and I wasn't quite sure if it was a evap line or if I actually was pregnant um, I just wasn't really sure what to think so I took the other brand and that showed a line as well and I was like there's no way that those both can be evap lines or false positives and I started freaking out um, my immediate reaction was fear and worry because I had just just had a miscarriage. I was grieving over that baby still and I didn't know how I was going to be able to cope with another pregnancy. Um, I didn't tell Dave right away because I was scared. Um, so I wrote him a letter. I wrote him a letter because I just I couldn't bring myself to tell him. Um, and it wasn't that I think I thought he was going to be angry. I knew that he wasn't going to. Um, it was just more of like my feelings and how I felt about it. I was really um, indifferent. And I feel bad for saying that because now I don't feel that way at all. Um, it was just more of fear. You know, I didn't know what to think. I didn't know how to, how to react at all. And um, of course I was happy, you know, obviously. Um because I really believe this baby's a miracle and meant to be here and meant to be with us and um, so yeah so I told him and he came up to me and gave me a hug and you know was holding my hand and telling me everything was gonna be okay and then he went out and got a first response this first response before and we've always got accurate results on those so um, I took the first response as you guys saw on my live pregnancy test um, and that showed a line right away and I took the second one, um, like two days later, and the line was even darker. But we definitely knew that I was pregnant. Um, so I called my doctor right away. They sent me in to get blood work done to check my ACG levels. And I'm not quite sure what they were then. I know they were, um, I can't even remember what they were. <laughs> um, I know they were pretty high, and um, the doctor said that was a good sign. And um, they put me on progesterone right away. And I started taking that soon after I got my um, positive result on a pregnancy test. And I started out on 200 um, milligrams twice a day. Um, and then I had repeated blood draws until my um, lab work, until my HTG levels were above 5,000. So. Um, once they were above 5,000, um, I was able to get a ultrasound done. And um, the first ultrasound we had done, I was too early for them to see anything, but they could definitely tell I was pregnant. They saw the gestational sac, the yolk sac, 
everything was good. And then I went back two weeks later, and, or about a week later, well, it was probably maybe two weeks, a week later, and had my second um, ultrasound done. And that is when they saw the little baby in the heartbeat um, with the yolk sac. And they were concerned about the shape of the gestational sac, gestational sac because it was in a teardrop shape. And that made us really concerned. That made the doctor really nervous because with my history, um, with having a um, early second trimester loss, having a preemie, and having a early first trimester loss, um, it made him a little nervous. The ultrasound, we went back around seven weeks and had another ultrasound done. That would be my third ultrasound. And everything looked perfect. Baby was doing fine. Um, the gestational sac was no longer an issue. Um, everything was good. My lab work was doing good. And they bumped it down to, they bumped my progesterone down to 200 milligrams um, once a day. As far as like my symptoms, I started getting nausea or morning sickness pretty early on. Um, it was about maybe four weeks, four and a half weeks. Um, and it really started to pick up about six to seven weeks. And um, I just had no appetite the entire time. I was nauseous. I was getting car sick, which I already do anyway. I have pretty bad mo motion sickness. But on top of that and having morning sickness, it was terrible. <laughs> um, so um, what I would do, and I still do this now if I get if I feel nauseous in the car, um, I will chew gum, which is why I'm chewing gum right now, because I am nauseous. Um, and that seems to help. Chewing gum, um, sucking on like hard candies like Jolly Ranchers have really helped, especially the watermelon ones. Those are my favorite. Um, those, that, those have really, really helped. And then um, I also heard somebody telling me to like tilt your head from side to side when you're in the car if you get motion sickness, and apparently that's supposed to help. Uh, I haven't tried that yet, um, but if it gets to the point where nothing else is working, I'll give it a try and let you guys know. Also, I was really, really fatigued um, in the beginning. I was to the point where I was taking um, a nap during the day when Dallas would nap, and usually I would use that time to clean and get things organized and post videos, and it was just on top of nausea and being so tired, I just couldn't do it. And my house was kind of neglected. <laughs> my Obviously, you guys could tell my channel was being neglected. Um, it was just um, pretty crazy in the beginning. Now, uh, about eight and a half, nine weeks, um, I started to get really, really moody. Um, just really emotional. I would be crying over, over nothing. Um, I would get angry really quick, which is definitely not like me. I'm more of a quiet, calm type of person. And this anger just comes out of nowhere. And I know it's my hormones. I know it's it's normal. Everybody goes through that. Um, it's just different for me because I've never had this in any of my pregnancies. And this is my fourth pregnancy. So this is really, really different um, for me to have like this outburst. And I've been trying to um, stay calm and relax as much as possible because I know that it's not good for the baby. It's not good for me to be angry. And I think a lot of it, too, has to do with us moving, which I'll be talking about more in another video. Um, but we're moving across state, so um, it's definitely a good thing, a good move for us, and um, I'm really excited. As far as my other symptoms, I've had lots of cravings, um, most, mostly for, like, cold things, like ice water, um... You know, chilled fruit is really good. Fleshies have also been another one of my favorites lately, and I try to stay away from those because they do have a lot of sugar in them, and I'm trying to eat healthy in this pregnancy. Um, just basically what I'm craving the most are fruits and vegetables. Um, I have no desire for any type of meat, like chicken. Um, I don't have any any like craving for any of any type of meat at all. Um, I have no craving for any sweets either, which is great. Um, I think I've had chocolate maybe like once this entire pregnancy and it was around Easter and I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. Um, so this is different. Um, with Dallas's pregnancy, I love chocolate. I love the salty foods, the hamburgers, the chicken. Um, this pregnancy is totally different and because I've been eating mostly, um, I guess you would say vegetarian, that's what I like to call it, um. 
I have lost a lot of weight. <laughs> um, I actually have lost about six pounds and I asked my doctor about this and he said that it was normal, um, that he's actually glad that I'm losing weight because I'm actually um, um, considered overweight and he doesn't want me to um, gain excessive amount of weight as I did with Dallas. And that was only because I was on bed rest. And I'm taking um, extra vitamins to kind of compensate for um, things that I might be lacking. Um, I am taking chewable um, or gummy prenatals because I can no longer handle or stomach the, the um, I guess the pills that you swallow. Um, it's just been really hard on my stomach. So um, I've been doing the chewable gummies or the um, gummy prenatals and that has been working out perfectly fine. I seen the baby yesterday. Um, like I said, I'm 10 weeks and one day today. And I went in because I was having some cramping. And um, I was really worried. Obviously, I, I'm not having any bleeding, thankfully. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, too, is I did have spotting early on in the pregnancy. Um, but that was considered normal um, because it could have been implantation bleeding. Um, which I've had in almost every single of my pregnancies. It just makes me nervous. Um, but since then, nothing, which is great. Um, but when they did the ultrasound, they could tell that my uterus was cramping a little bit and the ultrasound tech said that she's seen this and um, she's been in ultrasound tech for 16 years um, and that she said everything, sometimes it just happens. Um, they told me to kind of take it easy when I do have cramping, just lay on my left side and drink lots of water. Um, I was dehydrated so that could also be a reason why I was having cramping. So like I said, I think a lot of it had to do with the stress of moving and packing and getting things organized, it's been crazy. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be able to update with you guys again, um, probably for my 12 week um, pregnancy vlog. Um, I would like to do my 11, 11 week one, but that's actually one we're going to be moving and we'll be driving across country, so um, I'm not sure I'll have time to do that, but I will keep you guys updated on Facebook and Instagram, and I have all the links down below. So if I ever miss like a week or anything, um, you guys will definitely still be in the loop um, as far as like social media. And I'm also thinking about doing like a little series on my blog as well, but I'm not quite sure. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys all for your support and your well wishes. I really appreciate it. Um, Everything is going perfectly fine, and I pray and hope to God that it continues. Um, I have no concerns. My doctor has no concerns, so that's really good. Um, I am seeing a new doctor where I'm, where, where we're going to be moving to, um, so they know my medical history. I'm also bringing my medical records and all that stuff, so I'm going to be well taken care of. Um, I'll most likely be seeing a um, MFM or maternal fetal medicine doctor, which is a high risk doctor. Um, when we get, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my belly. Um, really there's not much to see. It's just kind of bloat. <laughs> um, for right now, I usually don't start to show until I'm between 12 and 14 weeks, but it could be different because I am, I have a lot of loose skin still from Dallas, so. Alright, hopefully you guys can see. Um, like I said, there's not really much. <laughs> it's just kind of bloat. And, um. Yeah, I mean, I've noticed a little, a little bit of a change.